Hokey dokey. In this video, I will go through three examples. The first one where they ask for less than a certain amount. Second one where they ask for greater than a certain amount. And then the third one where they ask for the probability between two amounts. And all of which we will be using, for all of it, which we will be using Excel. So let's jump into it. So they give us a formula for the mean and the standard deviation. And then they give us the end value that we need to calculate the mean and standard deviation. So what we're going to do is jump into that first. We're going to calculate the mean by doing n over 2. So n is 11,000 in this case. So we'll just do equals 11,000 divided by 2. This is our mean. Now we'll find our standard deviation below it. So we can do equals sqrt for the square root of n, that is 11,000, and then divide that by 2. This is our standard deviation. And then this 5428 is our x value. So if we think about our z score, we could do, you know, like this is our x value, this is our mean, this is our stand, standard deviation, and so on. Basically, all we need to do at this point, because we're finding the probability uh, that you flip less than this many heads, what we can use is the function norm dist. Okay? And so they say returns the normal distribution for the specified mean and standard deviation and that is the information we have and if you double click on that they say x mean standard deviation and cumulative is what we need to plug in so starting with x x is the data point value so 54 28 the mean is the 5500 that we calculated the standard deviation you could also just like click on these so i'll just click on that for the standard deviation and then comma and then the last thing we need is the cumulative thing that we need so basically it's just one so the idea behind cumulative is uh, if we think about the normal distribution that bell-shaped curve the whole the, the total the cumulative percentage of everything under that curve is 100 percent therefore it is one for the cumulative every time and so we hit enter and we get this 0 0.08 um, decimal and 0 0.08 translates to 8% uh, and that's the idea and that's what we're finding so whenever it's less than it's always just a direct calculation of norm dist with x mean standard deviation and 1 or the cumulative value and that's it let's go ahead and do the next example where we are finding the odds of flipping greater than that many heads. So once again, we will calculate the um, mean standard deviation and go from there. So the mean will be not 11,000 over 2 this time, but it'll be 25,000 over 2. And then standard deviation is the same setup, so all we'll do is change the end value again to 25,000, as you can see up here. And we'll hit enter and we'll have our new standard deviation and really if I had been smart I would have made it so that the mean was actually coming from this cell here and so I'll change the mean to actually come from C3 directly so that means all we have to change is the X value so the X value in this case is the 12,396 12,396 now what we have is the X value the mean the standard deviation and the cumulative one once again okay so this 0 0.09 this nine percent is giving us the probability to the left of or in other words uh, if they had asked for less than this many heads right but they're asking for greater than that many heads so what we need to do is one minus that value so the moral of the story is if they ask for what's the probability that you flip greater than a certain amount, you always do 1 minus the norm dist result that you found. So 90.5%, 90.6% rounds to about 91%. And that's it. Let's go through this last example where we are finding the probability between uh, two different x values, right? So let's start with our mean. We're doing n over 2. n is 17,000 now. Okay. 17,000. And then 
square root of 17,000 over 2. So we have our new mean and standard deviation here. Now, what we'll do is calculate two norm dist values and then subtract them. So we likely want to find the norm distribution value for the larger x value. So the larger one being 8525. So we will just plug in 8525 here as our x value. So this will give us the probability of flipping less than 8525 heads. So we hit enter. That's the probability of uh, finding what's the that's the probability of flipping less than 8525 heads. So now we want to find the probability of flipping less than 8416 heads and then we will then we will subtract the two results. So we'll go ahead and delete this so what we want now is just the same thing norm disk for the 8416 with the mean and standard deviation being the same value. So C3 comma C4 comma 1. We're inputting all those same things. And so this is the probability of flipping less than 8525. This is the probability of flipping less than 8416. And now we just subtract these, these two values. So we'll just do equals A1 minus A2. We hit enter and we find that difference as 55 percent or 0.55 55 percent all right so i hope these three different examples um, made sense so if it's less than it's just the regular norm dist calculation if it's greater than you do one minus norm dist and for this one it'll be norm dist of the larger value minus norm dist of the smaller value if you have any questions please let me know